Join me in solving Wordle 604. Still think with our rate. Oh, that's a tricky one. A and the E are nailed down, but it's a really common pattern, so there's like a whole lot of words that could fit in there. You know, I should maybe like think about coming like a standard approach to this. Like, what's the next most common set for words with this pattern, even? Uh, mm, shelf, though, that, that hits it pretty good. Like, that's four letters that are all common in somewhere in this pattern. I think it's good enough. Let's. Hmm. So it has an S. It's not the first letter, so it's either an S. Uh, second letter or it's second last. I'm kind of thinking here that I want to rule out an E A possibility. Check for that. There could be a, a double E, one with the N and one with the A. So that's kind of how I'm thinking lens here. It's not great in that we've already tried the L and we've already got an E at the end, but it gives me a way to check both the E for the EA and to see where the S is for sure at the same time. Okay. So there is no N, and the S for sure is the second letter. So S A ends with an E. Mm. There's a lot of things that no longer work because of the letters that we've eliminated. It took me a little while, but I think I think maybe usage could still be usage. There it is. That was the one. What is this little error that keeps popping up? I don't know. Like, I get this sometimes, but it, it seems to keep working. That was the that was it. So that takes the streak to three hundred and eighty seven consecutive days of solving the wordle. Did me four times this this time, so uh, because of the double counting, it's really one forty four in three versus now one forty five again in four. So the three and four are running head and <laughs> running neck and neck. Uh, but then every time it takes me five, I wonder how much it really counts to compare the three and four column, which ones ahead, because maybe the fives have been creeping up, and that the reason that the threes are higher is because I got more in five instead of four, rather than getting more in three versus. four. Or? Anyway, I'd be really curious if anybody's thought about uh, finding a single metric that's the most indicative of your overall performance uh, as opposed to looking at the whole chart. Uh, but yeah, I think this is pretty good. 387 consecutive days of solving the wordle.